I never knew that I was going to be a dentist my entire life like some people wake up and say, I'm going to be a dentist. Uh, my parents weren't dentists. I just knew that I wanted to do something that would allow me to pursue my dream of helping patients as a healthcare provider and combining my love or passion of doing something with my hands. So when I investigated becoming a dentist, it really was a good fit for me. Well, I grew up in North Carolina, so I uh, fell in love with University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. After graduating, I stayed in North Carolina, worked in a very small town, a blue collar community, appreciated being able to have a set of patients that respected me as a dentist, wanted to be, to be part of their community. And then my love for implantology developed after I said, I really need to help these patients with something just stopping at an extraction really doesn't help them. As a general dentist, to combine implants along with being able to be the primary care provider for these patients really is a great service to offer. I would say the motivation of teaching is, is I like to see more patients out there accepting and being able to get access to implantology. You know, here in the United States, we're one of the, one of the greatest countries in the world with access to care like nowhere else, but yet the penetration of implants for patients is only around 5%. So if we lined up every general dentist in the United States and said, you're all qualified and all have the right equipment and materials and skill set in your hands to offer your patients implantology, we would never get to everyone who needs an implant. So I like to take it one step at a time that if I can teach 10 doctors, 20 doctors, 30 doctors over a weekend, then I know that those 30 doctors now can start to explore his implant journey, offering that kind of service back at their practice for them. Well, I like to teach in a very hands-on fashion. I like to also teach in a very interactive style. So you won't find any of my courses where it's silence for 90% of the time. There'll be a lot of questions being asked and there'll be a lot of participation. I always tell students or doctors that are in my class, you know, please send me cases. I'd love to critique them. I'd love to help you treatment plan if you want me to. The biggest joy is when I see the excitement coming through the text or the email or the message that says, hey, Dr. Patel, I just did my first full arch case. Here's Ms. Smith before and here she is smiling afterwards. And you see the look in the patient's eye and you see the look in the doctor's eye and sometimes the whole staff's eye that Dr. Patel, we're glad we came to your course because we would have never been able to do this before. If you say, doctor, I like doing dental surgery. I like doing extractions. I like working with patients on that side of the dental field, then I think you have all of the makings to learn how to become a highly skilled implantologist. Uh, so it's not necessarily that we're all born implantologists, we're not. But if you're a dentist that says, I have a liking for surgery, then I think if you'll take that along with being coachable and a drive to continue to learn, you have all the parts and pieces to become a successful implantologist, really to grow your practice and to help your patients achieve a different level of success.